Hello viewers, welcome back to Trinity Software. Let's see binary search algorithm in this video with few examples. So this is going to be the input to the binary search algorithm. This is a sorted array. An array itself represents a set of elements of same data type. So in this case, we have an array of integer data type. And the second input is the target element to be searched. The process is simple in binary search algorithm. We have a list of elements. From the list of elements, we have to search for an element, whether it is present or not. If present, we have to identify and return the position of the element where it is present. So I have taken four test cases for our example. The case 1 is 17, so which is exactly the middle element of the list. And case 2 is 7, which is less than the middle element of the list. And case 3 greater than the middle element of the list and the case 4 10 is not at all present in the array so we are going to apply this binary search algorithm to these examples for any algorithm we need an input to be processed by the algorithm and then the output so the input here is a sorted array that is the array is arranged in ascending order and then the target element to be searched that is fed to the algorithm and we get the output either element found at a particular position is written or element not found at all. So this is the pseudocode. It's simple. Pseudocode actually represents the algorithm written in simple English. This is not specific for any programming language but you can convert this pseudocode to a program using any programming language. So the first step here is we are taking two variables low and high and setting it to certain value. Low is 0 and high is set to n minus 1. So here n is actually the length of the array and we are checking a condition high is greater than or equal to low we compute mid and three more conditions are checked if array of mid is so a mid is actually the position array of mid is the element present at the position if it is equal to target element to be searched then it means we have found out the target we are returning mid as the target position if not Either target can be less than array of mid or greater than array of mid. If target is less than array of mid, you have to set this high value like this. Or if target is greater than array of mid, we have to set low is equal to mid plus 1. That's it. And go back to step 2 means that we are going to do this process repetitively till we find out the element. The final output should be either we will be returning mid as the target position or the target element not found. So till then, this process is going to be repeated. So let's see how this pseudocode works with our four test cases. This is our input, the sorted array and the targets are given here. So I will take the first target 17 and the sorted array. First step, we are setting low and high. Low is index position 0 and high is n minus 1. So totally 10 elements here and 10 minus 1 is 9. So this is actually the index position where the elements are located. The first element is present at index position 0 and if you have 10 elements, the last element is present at index position 10 minus 1. So the second step is we are going to find out the value of mid. It is the average of low and high. So in this case 0 plus 9 by 2 will give you 4.5 but we are rounding it to integer. So it is 4, mid is pointing to position 4 and whenever you are calculating mid, before that, you have to check the condition high should be greater than or equal to low. Only then you can compute mid. If not, if high is less than low, you can directly print the message that target element not found. The next step is array of mid equals target. Yes, of course, our target is 17. Array of mid is 17. So it means we have found out the target element and we are returning the position. 17 is found at position 4. That's it for case 1. And for case 2, the target element is 7, which is less than the mid element. The first few steps are the same. First, I am setting low and high and computing mid. Now, in this case, we are checking if array of mid equals target. No, that is not the case. So, we are going to check the next condition. If target is less than array of mid, yes, that is the case, 7 less than 17. So, what we are going to do is setting high is equal to mid minus 1 mid is 4 we are going to change the high to mid minus 1 after changing we can go back to step 2 so high is changed to 3 now again we have to go back to step 2 
that is we are computing mid again so 0 plus 3 by 2 will give you 1.5 rounded to integer we get 1 as the mid value again we are comparing array of mid equal to target yes both are equal so we return mid as the target position so target 7 is found at the position 1 that's it and in case 3 we have target element as 45 which is greater than the mid element so again we are going to continue with the same steps starting from the step 1 low is equal to 0 high is equal to n minus 1 we are computing mid then we are checking if array of mid equals target no that is not the case so next condition is if target is less than array of mid but that condition is also false because target is greater than array of mid so it goes to the last condition in that case you are going to set low as mid plus 1 low was initially at this position we have set low as mid plus 1 so low becomes 5 now now we are going to find out the value of mid so it is 5 plus 9 by 2 we get 14 by 2 and 7 as the mid position now we are again checking this array of mid An array of mid is 28 now we are checking if both are equal target and array of mid are equal no that is not the case so we are checking if target is less than array of mid again target is greater than array of mid so we are skipping this if condition also the else part is target is higher than mid element so now we are going to set low as mid plus 1 so it becomes 8 now low value becomes 8 now again we are going back to step 2 step 2 is finding out the mid position 8 plus 9 by 2 we will get 17 by 2 it is 8.5 so around or down to integer we get 8 so both low and mid points to position 8 right now now again we check if array of mid equals target no both are not equal so we can go for the next condition if target is less than array of mid that is also not true the last possibility is target is greater than array of mid so we are setting low is equal to mid plus 1 low was already here in index position 8 now it is changed to 9 low becomes mid plus 1 and going back to step 2 again we have to find out the value of mid so now low and high both points to the same position and our condition is satisfied even now because high is equal to low so in that case you can find out mid so 9 plus 9 18 by 2 again mid also points to the same position now all three points to the same index 9 now we are again checking if array of mid is equal to target yes we got it so target 45 is found at position 9 and the last case is we are going to search for an element which is not present in the sorted array we will see that so as usual first we are setting low and high we are finding out mid value and we are checking array of mid equals target no that is not equal and second condition is target is less than 17 yes of course it is less than 17 so we are setting high is equal to mid minus 1 ok and going back to step 2 step 2 again we have to find out mid value now so 0 plus 3 by 2 we get 1.5 rounded to 1 mid is pointing to 7 again we are checking if array of mid 7 is equal to target no that is not the case target is greater than 7 target less than array of mid is checked no so the last condition we are setting low is equal to mid plus 1 so low was initially here we are setting it to mid plus 1 so it is pointing to index position 2 now here we are checking if high greater than or equal to low yes in this case we have high greater than or equal to low again we are computing mid mid is 2 plus 3 by 2 5 by 2 2.5 again 2.5 is rounded to 2 mid is also pointing to index position 2 here so low and mid both point to index 2 ok now array of mid 2 contains 11 it checks whether target 10 is equal to 11 no that is not the case and the second condition is the target is less than array of mid yes target is actually less than array of mid so we are setting high is equal to mid minus 1 so high initially it was present in 3 now we are going to change that to mid minus 1 so high is pointing to 1 and low is pointing to 2 so going back to step 2 we are checking the condition high greater than or equal to low 
but in this case high is less than low it is not even equal it is less than low so it means that target element is not found in this array itself so we can just return target 10 is not found in the array that's it this is how binary search algorithm works so we can implement this pseudo code in any programming language time complexity actually the complexity of an algorithm is the function describing the efficiency of the algorithm time complexity describes the amount of time it takes to run this algorithm so this amount of time can mean the number of memory accesses performed it can also mean the number of comparisons between the integers so that is exactly the amount of time represents so in case of binary search algorithm the time complexity is represented by order of log n in case of linear search algorithm time complexity is order of n so comparing linear search and binary search binary search is considered as an efficient algorithm okay that's it about binary search algorithm thanks for watching kindly subscribe for more videos on programming concepts